Hi guys! Today I'm going to be showing you how to do this everyday look uh, with a winged liner and it's kind of soft but smoky at the same time. Nice and bronzy for the summer. If you want to learn how to do it, continue watching. Hello everyone! Let's get this look started. We're going to be applying some moisturizer first and foremost. <laughs> if you guys hear the little baby voice in the background, that's my little man, Atlee. He'll be joining me in the voiceover. Alright, so next we're going to be applying a concealer and it looks like mine is almost out. <laughs> and conceal those under eye circles. Sculpting out our nose, making it a little thinner. <laughs> Is that all right with you? My chin gets awfully red, so does around my nose, and of course, little blemishes. Taking our damp beauty blender and blending away. I like to take whatever is left over and dab on my eyelids. Next, I'm using my foundation from Makeup Forever. It is the Matte Velvet, and the color is number 55. It is great for oily skin, so in the summertime, this is bomb. I mean, it's great all year round, but <laughs> for me, I do have really oily skin and, you know, we all get a little sweaty and dewy in the sunshine, so it, it's good because it stays in place. And I wish I knew how to fast forward for you guys, but, you know, I'm still learning. <laughs> so, we'll get there one day. But until then, you'll just have to enjoy every second of this, of these tutorials.
using a big fluffy brush from IT Cosmetics. I'm applying, um, it's a product from Arbonne. It's called FC5. Um, it's a mattifying powder. It is fantastic for uh, shine and oily skin. It just puts a flawless finish on your face. So I use that to set my concealer, or I mean my foundation. Next, taking an angled brush from Bare Essentials, I am applying warmth to my hairline and in my contour shadow, you can see. And I like to use the method or the guideline, um, the number three type of movement. You go down, around, and around again. So you're kind of making a number three. You're hitting your forehead and your hairline, your cheekbones, and your jawline. I like to go in and kind of dust on some color, especially now that I'm so pale. I need all the bronzer I can get. Now going in with a highlighter. This doesn't have any shimmer to it, it's just a very light color. Just sweeping that under my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, and lower jawline. And you can see it really makes your contour pop. <laughs> Atlee likes it too. I like to dust it on my eyelids. It's kind of the first step in my eyeshadow routine. Uh, what it does is brightens up your your eyes so that it makes it look like you've had a full night's a full night of sleeping like a baby. <laughs> and going in with a little more bronzer. Grabbing my Tarte blush palette, I'm using Doll Face and Beaming, mixing the two. It's just a nice soft pink. Looks like a natural blushing color. <laughs> Uh, taking that same fluffy brush and just using whatever whatever powder was left over and just uh, smoothing out and blending all that in so that there's no harsh lines. Next I'm taking a shimmery highlighter from Mally and putting that right on the upper cheekbones brow bone, and Cupid's bow. Good stuff. We're gonna go in and sculpt our brows. Ooh. Goodness gracious, Abby Jack. <laughs> uh, taking my favorite, I love that brow palette. 
and we're just going to do a little sculpting shaping I should say If you guys want to see a um, more detailed step-by-step -step on how I do my brows, you can go to my channel and look for that brow routine tutorial. gonna brush that out make all the hairs go in the right direction and here we go Ta-da! putting on some myth lipstick from Mac our Naked palette, the original Naked from Urban Decay. I feel like this is such a good, um, I feel like everyone has this. <laughs> so it's really nice to do for tutorials because I've just, most people already have this and the colors are great. They're good for every day, whether you're doing a soft, like no makeup makeup look, or you're going like we're doing now, a little glammed up everyday look. I'm still learning my tips and tricks of the trade here with doing YouTube videos. What I have realized in the making of this video is that I really don't have to do both eyeballs. <laughs> I can hit the basics with one so that you don't have to sit here and watch me do the same step twice. My bad. Don't mind my messy bun. I feel like every video that I've done so far, my hair has been a hot mess. <laughs> uh, the life of a hairdresser on her off days. Now this would be a good look by itself if you were just doing a little um, a little more than a natural eye look. I mean obviously we need to do a little bit of blending but this alone would be a perfectly fine shadow uh, look for the day. I like that color if you haven't noticed it is almost gone. <laughs> 
it's so great for the blending, for just softening up your crease and really smoothing out that harsh line. Don't mind Atlee bling, <laughs> banging on his high chair. <laughs> So I'm thinking I'm gonna do in my next video a tutorial on how I cut his hair. Um, let me know if that's something you guys would want to see. Um, it should be a doozy to film. <laughs> I might have to wait when my husband's home. Uh, he works all day. He is uh, in construction so if the sun is out and it's shining he's at work. So he, typically he gets home pretty late. Um, and on days that I work, I get home pretty late. But I, I might need some help in filming that one. So it would have to wait till Dean gets home. <laughs> but Atlee has great hair. Like everyone always comments on how beautiful his hair is and his head shape. He's just a lucky little kiddo. So, unfortunately though, his hair does grow like a weed and I have to cut it pretty frequently. So, I would like to do a tutorial on how I cut his hair. Alright, I think right here, the light gets a little funky. <laughs> um, but what I'm doing is taking that lighter highlight color, not the shimmer, just the, the lighter color, and any of the shadow dust, I just like to kind of clean that up a little bit. <laughs> and I am dropsy. <laughs> Dropping things left and right. And for this look, I didn't want to have too dark of a liner on the bottom since we are doing a pretty intense wing. So I'm just taking, I believe it's Buck in the Naked palette and using that as um, my under lash line liner. <laughs> It does the job without being too intense. Next, I'm going in with another Mally product. It's her highlighter duo stick. I'm taking the spongy side and just getting, hitting the inner corner and then dragging it down uh, in my lower lash line a little bit, as well as hitting the eyebrows or brow bone again. <laughs>
I tell you, each time I do this, it's it, I do it a different way, and it looks completely different every time. So it really is a task to try to get both eyes to look the same when you're doing a wing liner. And my left eye is always way easier than my right eye. <laughs> If you kind of pull with that skin by your eye, it gives your your surface, what you're working, the area you're working with, a little uh, firmer, better, better skin to work with when it's very tight. The reason I was adding a little bit more shimmer is I just, I didn't like how harsh it was looking. So I thought if I kind of covered it up, gave it a softer edge, and then I could kind of go back in with my black pencil and create a softer. There was a stray eyelash doing some funky things. Moving on to mascara, using my favorite, my love, L'Oreal Telescopic. Oh, okay, so the clump that comes out on the end of your wand, never let that go back in your tube. Always wipe it off. some love for my naked palette well thanks for watching guys and thanks for hanging in there with me through all my rookie moments <laughs> remember subscribe like and only nice comments are allowed bye